My name is Lambit Beecher. I'm one of the two composers in residence of Opera Philadelphia, and I'm incredibly excited about Thomas Addis's opera, Powder Her Face. Thomas Addis has a remarkable control of the orchestra, an ability to both orchestrate and command a huge variety of sounds. The pit for Powder Her Face is actually quite small, but uh, Thomas Addis uses it to create a, a, quite a rich and incredibly varied sound, sound palette. Some of the instruments are very strange. He uses slide whistles and, and fishing reels. Um, he uses most of the instruments double two or three other instruments. And this isn't, a lot of it's fun and creates a crazy sound, but he, he also uses it for very specific expressive effect. The fishing reels, for example, are kind of accompanying the Duchess's decline and can be seen both as representing a, a move through her being drawn toward craziness um, uh, you know, her mind starting to sort of unravel a little bit, and some sort of kind of the sense of uh, an inex inexorable fate drawing her toward her demise. Thomas Addis uses quotation in a, several different ways. He quotes specific composers, Strauss and, and Stravinsky. Um, one case, he, uh, he, he quotes the entrance of Baba the Turk uh, from the Rake's Progress. Um, and sometimes he'll just create, uh, use quotations to, uh, of, of general styles, of tango and of, um, of a 30 style song. In almost all of these cases, he, there's a specific angle, uh, expression, or um, maybe critique that he is invoking through the use of these quotations. In the case of his use of uh, the Stravinsky, the entrance to Baba the Turk, um, He's, this music accompanies some of the, the, the commentators at the trial of the Duchess. And they're, they're, they're looking at the Duchess, criticizing her, and it's uh, criticizing her sort of as a character as, that's maybe similar to Baba the Turk, who is this kind of chatterbox, indulgent, um, and kind of unfeminine character, a bearded lady, in fact. Um, and I think with that use, Addis isn't, he's not criticizing, or he's not commenting on the Duchess herself, but on the way that she was seen. The music in Powder Her Face changes during the course of the opera. It begins with this kind of explosion of rambunctious activity. You have a tango right off the bat. Uh, you have references to Cole Porter. You have a huge amount of quotation throughout the first act, and a huge amount of th laughing music. Um, everyone's laughing at each other, and this is in orchestrated in incredibly vivid and and ex exciting to, uh, ways. What happens in the second act is that some of this continues, but it begins to peter out a little bit more. And I think we begin to hear Addis's own personal voice a little bit more strongly. There are still some quotations, but those are largely references back to the first act. You know, moments of brief nostalgia. Addis always undercuts the nostalgia, but he gives us these little moments of reference to to the Cole Porter-ish song that we heard in the first half. And it makes us very briefly feel nostalgic, I think maybe to try to give us a sense of what the Duchess is feeling before then undercutting it with um, a, his sort of wide array of orchestrational chops, you know, uh, blurps in the saxophones and hits in the percussion and so forth. Um, so by the end of the opera, we have a sense of an arc moving from this burst of activity to something not muted, but, but less vivid in color and a little bit sad.